guys welcome back your friend to play here and this is a new video for the new latest vanilla pi 2 pi 3 and pi 0 2w boards um, it's um, has a, it has a lot of new features I've uh, did some changes I've did some more cleanup compared to the first vanilla you can delete all the old vanillas I plan to revamp all uh, three pies that I have. The Pi Zero is done, Pi Three now, and Pi Four is next in a few days. Um, Pi Tinker and Rock Pro, I think I'm gonna do this too. Just add some extra features. Uh, this uh, has uh, the modded desktop. It has online radio. It has uh, uh, and the bubble music. Three packs, which I suggest you strongly to just test uh, and see what you like. There's some nice things, and one of them they're gonna, it's gonna remind you, uh, like if you were on an 80s arcade um, uh, <clears throat> and playing your games and listening to this uh, uh, nostalgic uh, music. Now we have um, a lot of changes. We have the new. CLI YouTube client, we have um, nice features, I'm not gonna make it to be a long video, I'm just gonna go through the main stuff of what is new. So we have, as you know, the new updated emulation station screen saver. I'm not gonna go through all the room, uh, photos, um, images, I'm gonna go back. Okay, so this is a clean vanilla, it has nothing else, but the way the Global Sailor, a new lighter one with um, uh, those that you like, the scan lines, it's enabled by default, you can disable it with the toolkit. Now we go, let's go to the menu, you know the usual Playbox uh, RetroPie menu, we have the folders and subfolders, Control uh, two, controller tools, the single angle is the latest uh, script uh, included. If you have it, you can test it. I have in the HomePy directory uh, its apps and light gun. You will see a readme file in there how to test some stuff. The light gun and track, this is not enabled. Uh, the Zimo and Dua dual drivers. If you have this controller, you can enable it from here. The controller selection script by Meleu. Then we set all controllers uh, and this is something you can do also from the toolkit. We have the emulation tools, the configuration editor, the ES Pathfinder custom collection CGP from CyberGhost. As I said, what it does actually uh, gets, uh, if you imported some custom collections, it will match it to your ROM sets. So. Um, do the automatic correct paths and blah blah blah. So you can give it a try. I like Cyber Ghost is a very great, uh, um, a great developer in my opinion. He has a lot of nice scripts. I use a lot of free stuff. So we have the Retro Arch Net Play, the Retro Arch. We have the network tools. What is new? You remember on the last vanilla I have disabled the classic, the legacy uh, Wi-Fi setup. So I have both the classic, the legacy RetroPie setup and the new network manager both enabled. Now we have the visual and theme tools, so system tools, USB modes if you're gonna connect the external um, USB and have your uh, ROM shop there. Audio settings, background music, the new one, the Python uh, I'm using and uh, this is a script that I combine like what I had for this hack setup to install remove permanently. I suggest not to remove it, you can just go and mute it from the main menu. We have the file manager, we have the run command and then we have the overclock i3 optimized. Uh, as you can see the speeds you can have is 1400, 1500 and 1600. I have by default enabled the 1400. We have the visual and theme tools, the bezel project script update, you can update your bezel project uh, script which is here from up here and we just fix 
whatever is needed for the retro pie menu you don't have to fix the whole retro pie menu the yes themes hairstyle themes i updated that and uh, once you do the hairstyle themes always uh, use a toolkit and do the fix retro pie um, top first option and then you can restart your yes and you have it correctly instead of being uh, by default script name on the root uh, of the Retro Pie menu. The launch can be for for those who want to enable it. Media removal utility by David Marty. What it does, this will utility will remove extra media files, mix art, box art, cart art, snap, and wheel for a chosen system, <coughs> and it will match it against the game ROM that you have it. So uh, we have the overscan. We have the splash screens and the skyscraper, which I uh, I installed and updated. Now we have this is the mute that I was talking about. You can uh, mute if you don't want, uh, but it's very light. It doesn't affect your uh, um, uh, CPUs. I3B is a very powerful uh, mini board, so you don't have to worry about it. The Raspberry Config, the RetroPie setup. We have the system info weather by 2Play and the Playbox Toolkit. So that's it, uh, guys. So uh, I'm gonna. Uh, there's something I wanna show you, which I also, also have on the Playbox um, updates and uh, on the Discord. If you go to your sound settings, you see that I'm using the old Alsa setup instead of the new one and you have the default one how is the default and master which you can control the volume level on the es uh, from here and if you go you can also control the pcm by just changing this to sys default and pcm but if you want to control the volume in here you just have to have this setting enabled default and master uh, i have these things as i said on my discord uh, in order to change something like that and the script in the toolkit if you have a three and a half jack you can swap between the hdmi and the jack from there that simple so we go back and let's exit then i will start the btop who is the monitoring tool that I use, uh, as I said. And you can see the CPU usage at this point is 1%. The temperature is 37, 38%. And you can see the four cores, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, you can go with uh, <coughs> up and down to see the processes. And if you want to kill a process, you can do OR S. You can see this is a red, uh, red letter. You can press T to terminate, T, K to kill, S for signals. So you can have all the signals. We can kill it again with 9. So I'm not going to kill anything right now. Let's go. You press escape. You can see the options, help and quit in options. If I call what you can change even the color theme, as you can see. And you can do other things. So let's go exit and let's quit. Let's go to the desktop. So the, the new book router I'm using, uh, I have added uh, on the desktop of the computer uh, icon, the Pi Home, the network servers, and the Pi Apps. Uh, for those that you don't know Pi Apps, it's a very nice tool. It's uh, similar to the Pi Keys, and you have all these different kind of applications, and what it does, it will just install it for you. You can have games, you can have, uh, you can solve the applications. So, or you can see what is installed, the internet, multimedia, all this stuff. You don't have to do it, just does it for you. So, let's close this. Uh, for your reference, this image has ZRAM already enabled, so don't need to install it from there. It has already uh, set the governor to performance. And uh, you have the main menu.
So you can see you have the radio tray here too. So what I'm going to go and do, you can see the playbox widget here. So let's close. Now we have the show desktop. We have the departed. So it starts without asking the pseudo password any longer. So you can repair another image burnt. You can mount it, refresh and then select it. Then you go right click as one of the videos that are explained. Right click and say unmount and then uh, you right click and say check and let it do the job it will fix a lot of stuff for you now we have again the btop here we have the mat uh, terminal we have the chromium vlc player we have the uh, image viewer we have the bluefish editor um, so this is uh, just uh, the file manager we'll have the radio tray which is uh, the online radio that I told you. We have the pulse uh, audio volume control. It has exactly one place something you can see. You can go to a volume from here. Start the video tray. And you can see it up here. And then you can click and you select what you need to do uh, to play uh, the sounds. And as you can see, like you know, on the um, image that I posted, I have the new smooth juice, the smooth jazz. Sorry, and uh, you just click on it, and it plays the last thing that you have. So there we are. So I'm going to stop it to avoid any copyright claims. So now you can press while you're in the desktop. If you click on the desktop, and then you press. Alt F1, you can go by the keyboard and say log out, and you can see the CPU max speed is 1400. So there we are. So 2P and tab can get you to the Playbox toolkit. You can see it's the version 3rd of May 2000. Uh, I have to change that, it's 2023. Uh, 2022 so we have the fixes the usual stuff this is where you can swap between three and a half jack and HDMI the usual stuff you can take as um, when you connect with SSH and you go to the toolkit and you select this option, it will take a screenshot of your uh, playbox, whatever is on the screen at the moment. So let's go back. When you see something that is has this off, means like enough that it is disabled. Back. The cleanup tools. The system tools, all of this I have it explained in explaining videos. Thank you credits for all the people that uh, are my friends out there uh, helping uh, in the past, uh, just supporting. And now you can update your playbook setup from here if anything new always. and. I'm going to do it. If there's any new files, you will get it from uh, my GitHub. And then you're going to apply the clean if you want to go back. If it's a fresh image, you can do that. Or if you want to, if you change something and you think it's messed up, you can always click the clean and we just bring everything back to uh, the main settings. Uh, for if you see some errors in here, just ignore it because some of the stuff are with things that exist on the full playbox. But since they're disabled here, they won't uh, work. So that's why you get there. So this is on as uh, by default. You can have it off, or you can go to the app tweaks in the toolkit and do it. There too. 
and let's go exit and if I go to uh, to check the new stuff uh, the MoPD server let's check the YT which I almost forgot this is the YouTube CLI client there we are so here we type search if you don't know what to do you can press H and get the help and let's put Billy Esteban I like his music so you see it's way faster compared to the Pi Zero and you have all these uh, uh, results and you see it says page one of two to change pages you can press a, p and two so it will take you to the page two so let's go back to page one and let's try to play number one so let's see how long it's going to take to start it here There you are. It doesn't take minutes. And here it is. And then we're going to do quit. And um, I think it's cute to exit again. Yep, there you are. So that's it folks so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set it down and uh, I'm gonna let you enjoy the new playbox vanilla base